All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, title of this video is Where Was Allah and the Muslims During the Slavery? Okay, in America. Okay. Um. It was nowhere to be found. Okay. Um. I got this article, okay, called The Role of Islam in African Slavery, right? And it's an article from Wikipedia talking about the Islamic views on slavery. So I'm going to start off with this Islamic views on slavery and just take some points and I'm going to bring out some scriptures, okay? on uh this this subject okay so um basically one of the key points right here it says many early converts to islam were the poor and former slaves one notable example is balal ib i don't know how to say that rabah al hapasa okay so, a lot of the uh, people who convert to Islam are poor or former slaves, okay? Now, uh, continuing on, okay, um, right here, the mainstream view, however, is that the Quran recognizes, okay, it says slavery in the Quran, the Quran recognizes the basic inequality between master and slave and the rights of the former over the latter okay the historian uh, Bronsk, uh states that from a spiritual perspective the slave has the same value as the, as the free man and the same eternity is in store for his soul in this earthly life failing emancipation there remains the the fact of his inferior status to which he is he must piously resign himself okay so uh basically uh it's the same type of mindset okay that um a lot of christians had during slavery but the uh the slaves okay during the time of uh of of slavery in uh America was treated totally uh wrong okay and that's also in the bible also okay but um here in the the muslim religion okay they still have this 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 mindset that the master okay is over the slave okay um Salakia. Now I'm gonna go to this role of Islam in African slavery. Slavery has been rife throughout all ancient history. Most most, if not all ancient civilizations pra practice the institution and it is described and defended in early writings of the Sumer Sumerians, Babylonians, and Egyptians. It was also practiced by early se uh, societies in Central America and Africa. Okay? The Quran prescribes a humanitarian approach to slavery free men could not be enslaved and those faithful to foreign religions could live as protected persons. However, the spread of the Islamic empire resulted in a much harsher interpretation of the law. For example, if a daimi was unable to pay the taxes, they could be enslaved. And people from out, outside the borders of the Islamic empire were considered an acceptable source of slaves. Okay? Now, I also saw in this um, article of uh islamic slave uh views on slavery 
okay, where it was talking about how the Islamic, uh, the Islamic, um, religion, okay, became, um, uh, big in Africa, okay, because there was a point in time where, you know, the, the um, the people, the Muslims, okay, were, uh, in control of, of, of things in that, uh, region, okay, and, um, I, I, I have it right here, okay, uh, principles, okay, it says, in Islamic, uh, jurisprudence, slavery was an acceptable, exceptional, uh, condition with the general rule being the presumption of freedom of for a person if his or her origins were unknown lawful slate enslavement was restricted to two instances okay capture and war on the condition that the prisoner is not a, a muslim okay and that's where the um the muslims okay they they ruled that uh region okay it says or birth and slavery okay it says Islamic law d did not recognize the classes of slave from pre-Islamic Arabia, okay, including those sold or given into slavery by themselves or others, and or, and those indebted into slavery. As that article just said, if they wasn't able to pay, okay, then uh, that person had to uh, go into slavery, okay. It says, though a free Muslim could not be enslaved, conversion to Islam by a non-Muslim slave did not require that he or she should be liberated. Slave status was not affected by conversion to Islam. Okay? So it don't matter whether you uh, uh, converted over to being a, uh, a Muslim. Okay? You would still be a slave. Okay? Which the same thing with uh, Christianity, okay? But a lot of the the, uh, the things that happened was based off of uh, war, okay? And and uh, you know the, the 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 Muslims, okay, enslaving those people and and uh, and and those people converting over to the religion of uh, Muslim, okay? So, um, the, that's the same thing with, uh, um, Christianity, okay, here in America, okay, they, they basically made the slaves here in America convert over to being, uh, um, Christian, okay? Now, the thing is that it don't matter whether you are an Israelite, okay, and you convert over to, to being a, a Christian, okay, or an Israelite and you convert over to be being a Muslim, okay, the thing is that you cannot convert over to be being an Israelite, okay, and Israel, you're an Israelite from birth, okay, this is Jeremiah 2 and 14, is Israel a, a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Okay, and and the religion of Christianity, okay, and in the, the religion of being a Muslim, okay, you're being spoiled. Okay? You're you're being looked at as inferior, okay, onto the people that are that are over you. Okay? So, the thing is that a lot of our people, okay, were, were put into slavery, okay, and they was converted over to the religion that uh, their uh, um, owners were, okay? Now, the thing is this, during slavery, why didn't, why didn't our law just have the whole entire world putting uh you know being muslims okay if that was the case why is there a, a battle or beef between christianity and and muslims 
okay, being a, 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 the predominant um, religions over there in um, Africa or, or even in the world, okay? And if Allah, okay, or, or, or Muslims is the way to go, then when the heck is is, is this, uh, are they going to um, basically be the, 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 the main religion on the planet? Where are the prophecies at? Okay? Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay? And when you go into the word Lord, it, it's Yahweh. Okay? So the Lord Yahweh, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay, is the one who, 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 who creates evil. Okay? So he's the one who put our people into slavery. And he's the one who also put... Uh, who, who allowed the Muslims, okay, to, to, to be the ones who, who allowed uh, other people to go into slavery, okay, if you can receive that, okay, but our people ultimately went into slavery because we uh, didn't listen to what the Lord said for us to do as an independent nation, okay, so continuing on, uh, Amos 3 and 6, so a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid. So there be an evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it, no matter what city it is. Okay, the Lord is the one who, who does those things. Okay? Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Okay? Continuing on, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter you among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there you shall serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood, which is Christianity, and stone, okay, uh, Muslims, Islam, okay, these, that's, that's a part of the curses that our people will have to go through, okay. So like it, uh. Isaiah 45 and, uh, uh, 5. I am the Lord, right, Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me, okay? When you go into the Hebrew, okay, it's the the word for God, okay, is is Allahayim, okay, which is plural, okay. So the Lord is saying, okay, that He's the only one, okay, and there is no uh uh, uh other power beside Him, okay. The Allah, okay, the one who y'all ignorantly call uh uh God, okay. Or Allah, okay. There is there is no Allah besides Yahweh, okay. Allah is just another term for for God, okay. I girded you, thou has not known me, okay. So the Lord, if, if you're a Muslim, okay. Or you somebody that converted over to, to, to being a Muslim and you're an Israelite, okay, you're a so-called black man, okay? You you're really ignorant, man. Okay? And a lot of a lot of people out here in America, okay, who convert over to being a Muslim, they really only are Muslims because they went to jail, okay, and they did it for protection, okay? Or they did it for for, for uh honey buns. You know, donut sticks and that type of stuff. Or they um, felt as though that they was at a low point in their life and they wanted to try to, 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 to uh, find God. Okay? But that knowledge of, of God really ain't out here on these streets. Okay? That's why a lot of these people who, who end up being Muslims, okay, come out here and they continue to do the same type of things that they did, okay, before they ended up being in jail. Okay? But it says that the Lord made you, okay? But you have not known him, okay? It says that they may know from the rising of the sun 
and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and there is none else. Okay? Drop down, you heavens, from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation. And when did Allah ever save anybody, man? Okay, it says, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Okay? So the Lord put us in slavery. Okay, and he's the one who's going to save us from that slavery. Slavery also. Okay? This is uh, Isaiah 5 and 13. Okay? Uh... And, and a lot of you Muslims, man, you people who converted over to Muslims, man, why don't y'all just go back to, 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 to your land, I mean, or, or, or to that land, and see how it works for y'all, man. Okay? Or why don't those Muslims that are over there in that land come get y'all? <laughs> it's crazy. It says, Isaiah 5 and 13, Therefore my people are gone into captivity, right? We went into slavery because they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished, and their, and their multitude, multitude dried up with thirst. Okay, y'all, y'all, people are trying to be into every other, uh, you know, wind of doctrine. Okay, y'all don't know what to what to agree on. Okay. Um. Just get a couple more. Jeremiah thirty and ten. Therefore, fear the Lord. I mean, fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, right? Save the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. So when our people are the on this land, okay, our, our land, okay, and we're um, saved, Okay, and, and put into our land like we was before, nobody is going to put us in slavery. Okay, and it ain't going to be nobody converting over to being an Israelite. Okay, like how people are converting over to being a, a, a freaking um, a Christian or, or Muslim. Okay, the only people that, that are going to be Israelites are the people that are born Israelites, that are naturally born Israelites. Okay, you cannot say that you're a naturally born Muslim. Okay, so with that, I want to say Salawam. You know what? Hold on, I'm gonna get this, man. Okay, uh, Ezekiel 39 and 22. So the house of Israel shall so know that I am the Lord their God from that day forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Because they have trespassed against me, therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. Okay, so where was, where was Allah at, man, when, when, when slavery happened, man? Okay? The Lord is the one who is in control of everything. Okay? So with that, Salawam.